What are your thoughts on that whole eat six to ten times a day thing? Please tell me that you find this as silly as I do. Well, wait a minute, Neil. You're capping on one of the foundational principles of proper nutrition. Don't go there. Yeah, I'm going there, but let's talk about the premise first. So the premise here is, instead of eating our normal three times a day like most of us were brought up to do and fail miserably at, instead we should eat six to eight to ten to maybe even more times than that every single day and give ourselves even more opportunities to make really poor decisions. That premise seems to have a few holes in it. So why are they telling us to do this? Well, as near as I can figure, there are about three major reasons. The first reason has to do with they don't know any better. Listen, this advice is part of the establishment in the nutrition community. It is just vetted, right? It's got tenure. Number two, about 20 years ago, most people were really concerned about muscle wasting. We used to say, don't do your cardio on the same days that you lift weights because you're going to just burn all your muscle away, right? And the thought was that if we burn our muscle away, then we're going to end up with slow metabolisms and we're going to start to gain weight. So the third reason has to do with metabolism. The thought here is if we're eating all of the time, we're keeping our GI tract busy. We're always keeping it going. And the more food I throw into it, the more it has to work, and the more it has to work, the more calories it'll burn, and that is supposed to increase my metabolism. In terms of full disclosure, I have given all of those recommendations. When I first heard of it, I wanted to believe in it so bad, and it just made so much sense, theoretically. And I looked into it. I looked into it pretty heavily. That's my style. I went out and I searched the journals and I found some stuff and I talked to some experts and I heard some stuff and at the end of the day I was able to prove to my own satisfaction that this was a thing. The problem was that it brought up more questions from me than it had answers for. The first question I had was, why is our body so stupid? Like, why is it that if I really need it and I need it to be active and I need all my muscle and I need all my strength and I need all my energy, why would it then, if I skipped a meal, go in and take away from the very muscles that would keep it alive? Doesn't that seem counterproductive? It turns out that according to all the scientific literature, especially the recent scientific literature, this effect of muscle wasting has been way overstated. Way overstated. The fact is that the human body has even more incredible mechanisms in place that their primary job is to keep musculature, to keep strength, to keep energy, and therefore preserve our lives and our livelihoods. This brings me to another question having to do with this metabolism thing. Remember, it's supposed to raise our metabolism. To what end? Like, where does that quit? Does it quit? Ever? Think about it. So, if I eat 10 meals a day, and that's supposed to speed up my metabolism, what happens if I eat 20? Will it increase my metabolism even that much more? What if I never ever stop eating? Would that finally turn into this thing where I starve myself to death by eating too much? Oh, Neil, now you're just being ridiculous. Am I? You're the one that told me this thing speeds up my metabolism. Is there an endpoint? Ever? Okay, so this brings me to my last question. It, this one's the most confusing. So if Eating more times per day increases my metabolism, then obviously eating fewer times a day decreases your metabolism. That's just the logic, and that's what I've been told, right? This is where the logic goes awry for me. Because by this way of thinking, by their own way of thinking, it should be impossible for people who eat fewer times per day, once or twice a day, to lose weight. Yet at the risk of sounding insensitive here, third world countries where people only eat once or twice a day are full of fat-free humans. I want to know how that happened. I also want to know how it's generally the rule, not the exception, that people come down to GPP on two to three meals a day and become extremely, I would say supremely healthy, supremely fit, and supremely functional. Based on the theory of eating multiple times per day, this shouldn't be happening. This shouldn't be possible. Do you see why I find it a little silly? Look, I'm not saying it's impossible to eat six to ten times per day and lose weight. We've seen that happen. But it's rare. And the only people that seem to be able to make that work for them are the people who have immense self-discipline. And so what? The rest of us are just lazy? Undisciplined? We don't want it bad enough? Nah. We're not lazy. We're not undisciplined. The thing is, there are a lot of ways of skinning a cat. There's not a right way. There's not a wrong way. There's only the best way. And that's your way.